this book I'll be using 54 sheets of paper. The pages are ruled and numbered so I have to get the sheets in the correct order when I'm folding them. Make sure that the book starts with page number one. I quickly flick through the pages or the sheets to make sure that they're all ruled and there's no blanks in there. I count out four sheets. Make sure that the center pages are consecutive, eight and nine in this case, and then I simply fold it. I always fold to the right like that. That's just my habit. I've always done it that way. I'll give it a bit of a crisp with the bone folder on both sides, and then I'll place that off to the side, face down. Then I'll count off another four sheets. Again, I'll check that the inside numbers are consecutive. And then I'll do this 14 times. Once you have 14 sections folded, you knock the text block up to the spine and the head. And I'm going to put it between a couple of boards and put the text block into a finishing press. Now, if you don't have a bookbinder's finishing press, then you can use a couple of wood, woodworking clamps and a couple of uh, boards of wood and uh, balance the clamps on some bricks. Now we're going to mark the location for the holes for sewing. I'm going to put the kettle stitch locations, the end of the sewing, 12 millimeters from the head and 15 millimeters from the tail. The extra few millimeters is because the tail is more uneven and will trim more off later. We've knocked up to the head. I'm going to sew on two cotton tapes. So I'm going to put uh, two little marks equally spaced between the kettle stitch locations. I'm using 13 millimeter cotton tape. So I'll get those uh, a piece of that tape and just put it over those marks and mark about a millimeter either side of the tape. And that's where the holes are going to go.
I'll use a woodworker's square to draw lines across the text block where the holes are going to go. And draw a line diagonally across the back of the text block and mark the head. That diagonal line will help me make sure that I've um, kept the sections in the correct order when I'm sewing them. Now I'm going to make a little jig or a template that I'm going to use for punching the holes. Just get a piece of manila card, just make it a bit longer than the length of the text block and cut a long groove, I guess, out of it, and sort of a hook. And hook that over the end of the text block from the head. I'm going to mark the head so I don't lose track. And transfer the, the whole locations onto the piece of manila card. I'm going to use an awl to punch the holes in the sections and I want something underneath the paper so that the awl can go through just a millimetre or so. So I'm going to use that piece of corrugated cardboard. I don't want the sections to get out of order so I'm going to be very methodical about how I pick them up and put them back down. I find the centre of the section, open it up and then I use my little jig, I hook it over the head, I find my awl, I hook it over the head of the book, and then I push through the paper, through the fold, at an angle of 45 degrees, so that the hole comes out in the centre of the spine. Just do this 14 times. There's a number of um, cradles for doing uh, punching these holes that are on the market. I've never really liked doing them. This is my favorite way uh, of punching holes. I, I think it's the easiest. The hook um, is nice in that it uh, pulls, uh, if the pages get a bit out, out of um, alignment, the hook sort of pulls them back into place. And using the manila card, which has a bit of stiffness, pushing that into the um, center fold of the section also consolidates the uh, pages uh, into the spine.
check the sections are all still in the correct order so the lines nice and straight across the spine so they're all in the correct order and the final thing to do is to give the sections a, a nip in, in a press if you don't have a press then uh, maybe just put them between a couple of boards and put a bit of weight on them uh, if you do have a press that's great turn half the sections around to even out the swell uh, on either side of the text block um, press press for at least a couple of hours overnight um, if you want to take a break The next step will be sewing the sections.